I want you to take a moment to check in with yourself. Take stock of what in your body feels stiff or in pain. If you're feeling that discomfort, you're not alone. In one national survey, it's estimated that more than one third of adults have joint pain in the last 30 days. But here's something to brighten your day. Today, we're bringing you the biggest medical advances to treat your chronic joint pain that you can do in your own home. Bringing us these new innovative solutions is orthopedic physical therapist Peggy Brill. She takes care of me. Our first breakthrough is something you can do right at home, red light therapy wrap. Explain what this is. Well, the, Give us some insight. Dr. Oz, there's so many great things coming out because everybody's aching, right? So this is uh, a red light therapy. And so if your knees are stiff or your back is stiff, you can put wrap this around you just hit the button the red light comes on and i'm going to demo with on my oh, knee okay. look at that flexibility <laughs> you got to be flexible in this industry and you just wrap it around mm -hmm. and you can do that for a period of time every day and that will help with just getting your joint metabolism up so that you can go and do stretching and strengthening which is really ultimately what's going to help you and i'm told instead of putting it on for an hour once a week you're better off doing it yes. know, five ten minutes every single yeah, day like it, most things yeah like use it consistently like you would medicine and that's how we look at physical therapy like consistency as medicine and just again you're a very practical person how long would it take for someone with with knee pain that's become irritatingly severe to get some results well some people say they've had that on for like 30 minutes they can tell the difference it's almost like you know a hot shower to make them feel better but this is actually going right to a joint mm -hmm. and getting that metabolism to increase in that area all right check the box we got one idea our next at home solution targets one of the most common sources of joint pain knee pain which i happen to have and we're going to do something with a pilates ring first of all before we do this why knee pain why is why am i so many plagued by it? because the knee has two degrees of motion Flexion, extension, internal, external rotation. And if that's not stable, then what happens is when you land or move, the joint is getting excessive wear and tear. So even if I'm dancing and giving my best moves, if yeah. I don't have stability on the joint, exactly. I'm taking it in the direction it's not supposed to go in. Correct. And you get that stability from the hips, the pelvis, the stomach. So I love doing an exercise that's like fast and efficient to hit all that. All right, let's do a couple. Okay, great. Now this is a Pilates circle. I'm holding it here. And, and I love this because you can do this in bed. You can put this by the side of your bed and just do this every day. Okay. All right. And you just lie down on your back and you're going to put it on the outside of your knees. Okay. And then you're going to lift up your buttocks, what we call a bridge, which is like ancient exercise in physical right. therapy. And then you're going to push outward. And what that's going to do is activate your gluteus medius to help stabilize your femur, which helps the alignment and stability of your knee. That's and then bad. you're going to come down. You do about 20 of those. And then you're going to put it on the inside of your thigh to activate those inner thigh muscles, lift up again, and then work it that way. Again, doing about 20 of those and tucking your chin so you get a good alignment through your whole spine. This is a much stronger muscle for me. Yeah. yeah the previous one, I did not have much strength. Yeah. You, and you'll that's... realize this, I think, that you have weaknesses that, that have sort of stuck up on you over time. Right. Okay, and you notice it when you do these things. Like, and that's what we want to create is the balance. So now you're going to bring your legs up so that you're 90 degrees at your hip, 90 at your knee, 90 at your ankles. And you do that, to, it's called tabletop position. Mm -hmm. You're gonna activate your abdominals. Your head's gonna be down. You're gonna tuck that chin so you get good alignment. And you're gonna work on pushing out in this position. I got nothing here. I mean, literally, <laughs> I have no strength. Well, this is good, doctor. I oh, can take this home and work on this. <laughs> All right, and then put it on the inner thigh and do it this way. Oh, this is much better. And yeah. this is also great for strengthening your pelvic floor and your lower abdomen, as well as getting your knee, because it's all incorporated together. See, this makes sense to me, because I'm now uncovering weaknesses that I, I, you've been telling me this, but it now makes more sense. Yeah. And I wouldn't have ever figured out that I don't have any ability to pull my legs apart. Maybe it's that weakness yeah. that I compensate with with my knee. So and it, has it could come from your back, it could come from many things. So this will target and hit that and get you stronger in those areas. Joint pain can come from lots of sources. It's, it's not just, you know, repetitive trauma like we always think. It's muscular imbalance. Mm -hmm. if, you know, what's tight and what's weak is pulling asymmetrically on the knee so the axis of motion is thrown off. And then that's when you're going to get excessive wear and tear. Now, in addition to wear and tear, we all, of course, have autoimmune problems. Sometimes it's not because you danced wrong last night. You actually have your body attacking the joints. Rheumatoid arthritis. Right. Which is autoimmune and that's you know, that's different, but you still need to stretch and strengthen. And what's nice about this is a non-impact. 
You can lie down and do it without hurting your joints. All right, so let me cover what rheumatoid arthritis is. Then I'm going to take some more ideas that you can do at home. So rheumatoid arthritis happens when antibodies, which are supposed to protect our bodies normally, they get confused, these antibodies. They begin to attack our own tissue. And with rheumatoid arthritis, they attack our joints in particular, like our knees, our neck, and our hands. Right? Yeah. And in our hands, it's particularly an issue because unlike wear and tear, rheumatoid arthritis has an autoimmune problem when these antibodies get through the capsule, right? They cause painful swelling. They can squeeze down with this erosion of the bones and joint deformity which you can actually see on the outside. One little classic example, it's called ulnar deviation. The wrist will rotate out like that. So if you ask people to put their hands out, it'll look like this more. It's pretty typical for rheumatoid arthritis. And these problems, you got to actually get medical support for because you won't be able to treat it you know, just with the ways we treat the wear and tear arthritis. All right, next breakthrough. It's pretty important. If you can do it at home again, it's a device that can alleviate any kind of arthritis pain. And this is called a TENS device. Yes, yeah. this is a transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. And these have been around for a long time, Dr. Oz. And we use them like because it blocks some of the pain reception. It creates endorphins in the body. So like, if, let's say you have a painful wrist. You can just roll up your sleeve. You take one of the electrodes off, put it on, and then take the other one. You, have to, you need one positive and one negative because the charges flow from positive to negative. And what that will do is that will block some of the pain reception in that area. Now, you know, we don't want to chase pain, but sometimes getting people out of pain allows them to do more stretching and strengthening, which is ultimately going to be what's going to so happen. As electricity is passing through here, it changes how the message of pain gets back to your brain. Correct. Which I like more than taking an opiate. Absolutely. Because <laughs> right? that's how you become addicted. Absolutely. It's expensive and treats your whole body when, you're, when your problem is just your wrist. So why would you right. do that? Right. And you have some low-tech solutions as well, which is very low-tech. I mean, I like to try to keep it very simple, Doctor. This Austin. you made at home for us. Yes, I made this at home. This is like the easiest and oldest method. My kids used to call it boo boo ice if they felt that. Boo boo ice. All right, you just take a regular cup, fill it with water, put it in your freezer. Then I would peel it back so you can hold it and not feel cold on the hand that's not hurt, and just do an ice massage on the joint. And then you can do it over the sink, you know, as this one's dripping, just let it drip over there. And you do it for like a minute to three minutes. First, it's going to feel like cold, then noxious, then, you know, like kind of burning, and then it goes numb. Right. So by the time it's numb, then you just, that's it. And you can do that a couple times a day, and it's very localized, anti-inflammatory, analgesic. And again, we're breaking into the cycles of pain, inflammation, weakness, dysfunction, and you'll feel better. And that's what it's about. Once you break that cycle, you also say we can stretch. Absolutely. Which is important to make sure that you're dealing with the root cause. So give us a couple of simple examples. Um, so this is a, a handheld foam roller. Some people know about rolling on a foam roller, mm -hmm. but we've done less of that lately because it's too compressive that we're finding on the nerves. So this is something you could do at home with a, with a roller. And you just can, typically what happens is the iliotibial band will get very taut yeah. and that pulls on the knee. And then if you have weakness in here, then the knee is off its track. So one of the things we'll do routinely is get somebody to roll along their iliotibial band and feel those tissues soften up. Anybody who's had like L5 nerve problem in their back, yep. this tends to be very sensitive and adhered, so we want to get that flowing. We can also go behind the calf muscles in the bulk of the muscles and massage in there. And this, again, is a great way to stretch out the calf muscles and get the soft tissue mobility to improve. You know, you could use this as a pie roller, too. Yeah. It's good practice in almost anything you do. <laughs> you know, it's so practical and so insightful to realize that you can break a cycle of pain, uh, understand the underlying issues, deal with them, and yes. through your, with your own body, with appropriate therapy, avoid having to take toxic approaches to pain that I think are afflicting a lot of Americans. Right. And if you take a pill, like the availability, let's say, going to your wrist is very minimal. Yeah. When you're doing ice, it's directly like affecting that, getting the analgesic, anti-inflammatory, and it blocks the pain reception. Peggy you, bro. Thanks for Thank the you. advice. All right, you've seen the newest innovations in taking care of your joint pain, but up next, we're going to show you how to heal the pain from the inside out with the ultimate arthritis diet. When it comes to pain, we're always on the hunt for the newest and fastest ways to treat it. And it's no wonder, with over 60 million people reporting chronic joint pain, all solutions are welcome. But what if you can stop it before it ever starts or reduce pain just by adjusting what you're eating? We're looking into the best anti-inflammatory foods to heal yourself from the inside out. Joining us now is author of the cookbook, Spice Spice Baby, Kanchan Koya, who's taking us through the foods you need to incorporate to get those joints feeling juicy again. First, we got a meal for those who want to start the day on the right foot. See what I did there with the right foot, the pain? Never mind. Yes. Right, best anti-inflammatory <laughs> breakfast. You've got some, some heroes here. 
Yes, this is perfect for people who are busy and want something quick on the go. So our star ingredients here are omega-3 rich walnuts, chia seeds, and antioxidant rich blueberries. I love to throw those into a smoothie with some almond milk. You can add dates for sweetness, a little pinch of salt. And if you don't want to do a smoothie, you can well, add also, it to let me things. Taste this for a second. Yeah. By the way, the salt's an interesting idea. It brings out a little bit of sweetness. Exactly. You can get away with less sweetness if you add a pinch of salt. This is good. I, I thought it would be the same old, same old that I usually get, but this is actually a nice little twist on it. Right, and then if you don't want to do a smoothie or you want to shake things up, you can add it to things like yogurt or your oatmeal. Which is your favorite? I have to say I do love the smoothie. It's kind of a quick, I can take it with me in my car. Perfect. I don't know I would go with the oatmeal without question. Still cut oats there for me in the morning. All right, right. we have some everyday ingredients you probably cook with in your house right now that you don't know are also powerful anti-inflammatories. And these are foods actually for historical reasons you know, have been part of our cultures, but people didn't realize these roles. So garlic in particular and turmeric. Yeah, turmeric's been studied for centuries and it has powerful compounds like curcumin, which may help inflammation. And garlic we think of as just flavoring for food, but it also contains powerful antioxidants. See, I think one of the reasons that garlic helps with pain is it keeps people away from you. Right. And not around you. <laughs> you can sort of calm down a little bit. So we've got Paula who's joining us from her kitchen to show us how she cooks with her favorite anti-inflammatory ingredients. So, Paula, take it away. How do you use garlic and turmeric in your meals to keep your joints healthy? Well, hi, Dr. Oz. Well, growing up in a Lebanese household, uh, we used turmeric and garlic in actually all our food preparations. And now that I know all the great health benefits, I actually just add it to almost everything I make at home. Well, I'm very proud of you. What do you got there in front of you? So like today, uh, I'm making a simple salad, but for my dressing, I'm adding a little lemon juice, a little oil, salt, and pepper, and I'm taking my turmeric, powdered turmeric, adding it to my dressing, mixing it around, and adding it to the salad and to make a healthy and really tasteful meal. I'm very proud of you. You keep it up. You Thank look, you. You look pain-free <laughs> to me. Lastly, yeah. an anti-inflammatory treat I know you will not refuse, chocolate. Now, whenever someone offers chocolate as a therapy, people perk up a little bit, but this is a great, great concept. Take it away. Yes, so we really need 70% or higher chocolate because that's when you get, get these concentrated antioxidants, anti-inflammatory compounds like flavanols. This hot chocolate, we're gonna use almond milk again. We have our raw cacao, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, turmeric. We're just gonna whisk that all together. And then if we want some sweetness, we have maple milk syrup. Or, or almond milk you have? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And if you're gonna use large amounts of cinnamon, like in this um, hot chocolate, I like to use something called true cinnamon because the regular everyday cinnamon in high enough quantities may have some liver damaging compounds. Mm. So go out of your way, find true cinnamon. It's easy enough. I'm sure, what, but what is true cinnamon? So it's just a different variety of cinnamon called Ceylon or true cinnamon, and it has lower or immeasurable amounts of coumarin, which at high enough doses could be a liver toxin. Oh my goodness, I had no idea. Wait, this so is this is whisked up, and then here the, here's the finished one, and you can use maple syrup to sweeten. Doesn't that smell amazing? Oh, smells good. Can I borrow one? Yes, absolutely. Trust but verify on the show. <laughs> All my, always. Oh no, that's good. This is wonderful. Right? Yeah. And I think the part of it is that it's not the usual taste you get. It's like a soup married a tea. Ah, oh, well that's a good way to describe it. Thanks for being here. Thank Good you. Advice. You can hear lots more from Kanchan Koya on our health tip and all of our health tips on our podcast, Radical Vitality. Every day, new breakthroughs emerge to help those suffering from chronic pain. Listen, it can be a long road. I get it. I'm always there standing with you.